Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Omni Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing DBT JRF Entrance Exam Question Paper conducted in the year 2019. I have divided into two parts. This is the first part. The major difference between hormones that have intracellular receptors and those that have cell membrane receptors is that former is usually so intracellular uh, receptors are receptors located inside the cell rather than on its cell membrane for such uh, examples of for such receptors are thyroid and steroid hormone receptors being lipids these steroid hormones enter the cell by simple diffusion across the plasma membrane this means that steroid hormones have to be hydrophobic so the answer here is that cell mem and those that have cell membrane receptors is that former is usually that is the intracellular receptors is usually hydrophobic answer is option d then a patient suffering from allergy has been advised to take antihistamine drugs which one of the following biological process is most likely to be the reason for allergy so mast cell degranulation and it occurs in response to allergic reaction and histamines are released so answer is option a then which of the following statement is not true for enhancer element it uh, it can be downstream of the gene it regulates yes it can only regulate a nearby gene they um, they, it is not necessary that they always regulate a nearby gene. They, uh, they form a loop around to come into close proximity with the promoter of the target gene if it is far away. So the answer here is not true they have asked. So answer is option B. Then which of the following statement about alleles is not true? They may occupy different loci in the same chromosome. That itself is not uh, true. The alleles for a trait occupy the same locus or position on homologous chromosomes and thus govern the same trait. The next one. Allele A is dominant over allele small a and results in dark, pigment, dark skin pigmentation. In a mating of capital A small a with capital A small a, if six offsprings are produced, the probability of all having dark pigment is. So capital A is crossed to a small a is crossed with capital A small a heterozygous. They produce two types of gametes each. These are the offsprings that are produced. So for the first child, for each child, the probability of dark pigment is three by four. So for 6 offspring to have dark pigment is 3 by 4 raised to 6 that will be 0.18 approximately. So the answer is option A. A bacterial culture grown in a medium containing radioactive sulfur would. So radioactive sulfur they have told. So they will um, incorporate the radio label in the tetrapeptide serine, cysteine, tyrosine, methionine. These are sulfur containing amino acids that is cysteine and methionine are present and they are present only in option A. Then next one. Of the double stranded DNA sequence given below, the sequence that is expected to have higher melting temperature is. The one with more GC content will have higher melting temperature. If you see option B, how many so many GCs are there when compared to uh, D. I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if you see D, you will see that 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And on uh, B, how many you had? I forgot the number. Uh, 3 and 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So B is having 15 and D is having 12 GC. So B will be the one which is having higher melting temperature. The next one. A peptide sequence SHELR is isolated from bacteria. Which one of the following option lists the possible phosphorylation site in this peptide? It is histidine. Answer is option A. 
then competitive inhibition of an enzyme can be reduced by increasing the amount of substrate answer is option b that is a repeated question the sequence of first strand of dna obtained after reverse transcription of a bacterial mrna is the same as is the same as antisense dna strand answer is option a then statins inhibit biosynthesis of cholesterol <coughs> <coughs> sorry a fetus with one of the following karyotypes will not survive at birth so it is 45 why because x chromosome is missing there so it will not survive at birth then next one if a cell carries 21 pair of chromosomes just after completion of mitotic telophase how many chromatids will be there in metaphase so n is equal to 21, 2n is equal to 42. So mitotic metaphase will have 42 into 2 that is 84 chromatids. So the answer here is option C. The next one, molecular mass of a protein cannot be determined by. So molecular mass cannot be determined by multi-top gel filtration or the SDS page. Odd can be used for determining molecular mass but chromatofocusing cannot be used. So answer is option C. Then lack of reactivity to self HLA is known as it is known as tolerance. Tolerance is the prevention of an immune response against a particular antigen. Answer is option D. Then the frequency of two alleles in a population is 0.19 and 0.81. If the population is in Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, what will be the percentage of heterozygous individuals in the population? So that will be around 2 pq. So 2 into 0 0.19 into 0 0.81 into 100. That will be 31%. So the answer here is option C. Then next one. Which of the follow which one of the following intermediate filament protein is present in the nucleus? So it is lamine. Answer is option B. Then next one. All the DNA strands of a cell containing four chromosomes are labeled. After one division, how many chromosomes in the daughter cell will be labeled DNA? Four itself. Answer is option C, that is four. Then, which of one of which one of the following statement is incorrect about facilitated diffusion? Its rate is higher than simple diffusion. The partition coefficient of the solute is irrelevant for it. It can be saturated at high concentration of the solute. So all three are correct. It works against the concentration gradient. That is incorrect. Facilitated diffusion is the passive movement of molecules along the concentration gradient. So answer here is option D. Then variable number of tandem repeats in DNA molecule are highly useful in DNA fingerprinting. Answer is option A. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy is a disease caused by prions. Answer is option C. Which one of the following is used to study the structural detail of biological tissues using freeze fracture technique that is transmission electron microscopy. Answer is option B. Which of the following assures prevention of polyspermy in an egg? So it is cortical reaction. Answer is option B. Cytotoxic T cells generally recognize antigen in association with class 1 MHC determinant. Answer is option B. Then with reference to protein precipitation by organic solvents, which one of the following statement is correct? It is not influenced by pH. It is dependent on the change in dielectric constant. It is unaffected by ionic strength. It is independent of the molecular size of the protein. So answer is option A. It is not influenced by pH. Then a T T buffer contains 200 millimolar tris, 50 millimolar EDTA. Given the stock solutions 0.5 molar tris and 0.5 molar EDTA. Volume of stock solutions required to make 1 liter of buffer solution respectively. So you have got a tris of stock solution 0.5 molar how much you have to take from there to make 200 millimolar tris of 1 liter buff, uh, 1 liter 
so they have given in ml so i have converted 1 liter to 1000 ml then you calculate using m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 find out v1 you will get 400 ml similarly you can do for redta also you will get 100 ml answer is option a 400 ml 100 ml the ph of 0 0.01 molar hcl solution in h2o so that is minus log concentration of H positive ion. So minus log 0 0.001 molar. So minus log 10 raised to minus 3. So pH is 3. Answer is option C. Then which one of the following enzymes can hydrolyze both ester and amide bonds? So it is chymotrypsin. Answer is option C. In the citric acid cycle operating under aerobic condition, which of the following is not directly involved? Molecular oxygen is not directly involved. Answer is option C. To make 2 liters of 0.4 molar HCl, how many ml of 28% weight by volume HCl? Specific gravity 1.15 is required. So molarity is number of moles by volume that is uh, n is equal then you can calculate number of moles that is 0.8 mole of HCl. Molar mass we know it is 36.5 grams per mole. Then mass of HCl required will be 0.8 into 36.5 that is 29.2 grams of HCl is required. But they have given uh, it is 28% weight by weight of HCl. So 100 grams of 28% weight by weight HCl contain 25 gram HCl. So mass that contains 29.2 will be 104.28. Now density of HCl is uh, 1.15 gram per ml. So mass by volume, mass by density that is 104.28 by 1.15 that will be 90.7 ml. Answer is option B. Then identify the product obtained when luciferin undergoes the following reaction. So this is luciferin in the presence of uh, luciferase it will give only option 1. So answer is only 1. Then in the DNA methylation reaction mediated by S adenosyl methionine methyl transferase the nucleophilic species involved is so it is an amine that is involved. The sixth position of adenine is an amine B and DNA methylation occurs at the sixth position of adenine. So it is an amine. Answer is option B. Then correlation coefficient is a number between minus 1 and plus 1. Answer is option D. A young scientist was interested in creating a dipeptide using L-alanine and L-glycine. How many different dipeptides can be generated? So using uh, alanine and uh, glycine, you can have only uh, two dipeptides. That is alanine glycine, alanine at the N terminal, glycine at the C terminal or else glycine at the N terminal and alanine at the C terminal. So how many dipeptides can be generated? Uh, 2. Answer is option B. Then, while making 100 ml of uh, 2 molar NaCl solution, a student left the solution on a heating platform reducing the volume to by 50 ml. So, it got reduced to half. This volume was diluted 1 is to 100 for use. What is the final concentration of NaCl in this solution? So, 2 molar is 200, they have given it in millimolar, so convert it into millimolar, that is 2000 millimolar. Now volume is 1100 ml, so M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2. What was the molarity when it became converted to 50, uh, reduced to 50 ml? So 2000 millimolar into 100 is equal to M2 by 50, you get M2 is equal to 4000 millimolar. Now it is given in the question that it is diluted 100 times. So 40 millimolar that is 4000 divided by 100 so it will be 40 millimolar. Answer is option C. The pK of acetic acid is 4.76. At what pH would concentration of acetic acid and acetate ion be the same? So the concentration of HA minus by concentration of H plus is equal. So they have given pH value now they have to 
you know, they have given pK value, we have to find out the pH. Now pH is equal to pK plus log concentration of salt by concentration of acid. So that will be 4.76 plus log 1, that will be answer will be 4.76. Answer is option D. Then the C14 has a half-life of 5760 years. 100 mg of a sample of C14 will completely disintegrate it. So for 100 mg to become 50 mg you need 5760 years. 50 mg to become 25 mg you need another 5760 years. Like that it will go on. And uh, uh, it will go on for infinite years. It will not become uh, zero. Okay. Because it is in years. The year doesn't become zero years. So the answer is option D. Infinite time. Then next one. A patient suffering from autoimmune disorder. A Autoimmune disorder from an autoimmune disorder. Exome analysis has revealed a mutation in the gene AIRE. Which one of the following biological processes is likely to be affected in this patient? So AIRE it is a transcription factor expressed in medulla of the thymus. It is part of the mechanism which eliminates self-reactive T cells that would cause autoimmune disease. That is, it is involved in negative selection. So, negative selection deletes potentially self-reactive thymocytes. So, which of the following biological process is likely to be affected is negative selection of thymocytes. Then next one. Mutation of which of the following, which one of the following genes is mutated in nude mice? So, it is... Um, Mutation in the nude gene, that is the Fox N1 gene induces a hairless phenotype and rudimentary thymus gland in nude mouse. So, uh, it is answer is option A, F, Fox N1. Then, which of the following statement is true for long non-coding RNA? So, long non-coding RNAs are a type of RNA. Um, generally defined as transcripts more than 200 nucleotide long and that are not translated into proteins. So they are less than 22 base pair. No, they are more than 200 nucleotides long. They are uh, processed in the nucleus by risk complex. That is also not correct. They have greater than 300 amino acid open reading frame. That is also not correct. They may have a poly A tail. That is correct. So, which is true? Answer is option D. Then, which kind of post-translationally modified protein targets are recognized by bromodomain containing proteins? So, bromodomain proteins, they play a critical role in the regulation of bromodomains, specifically, oh, uh, sorry, regulation of transcription. Okay. And bromodions, uh, the domains, they specifically bind to acetylated lysine residues on histone tails. So, which kind of post translational modified protein targets are recognized by bromodomain containing uh, protein? It is acetylated lysine residues. So, acetylated protein. Answer is option A. Then next one, when dissolved oxygen is lower than the critical concentration in mammalian cell culture system, cell viability declines because, uh, because incomplete glutamine oxidation and increase in lactate production from glucose. Answer is option C. Then combination of high temperature during processing low temperature during storage and increasing the acidity for prevention of food contamination is known as. So it is known as hurdle technology. So hurdle technology usually works by combining more than one approach. This approach can be thought of as hurdles which the pathogen has to overcome if it has to remain active in the food. So the right combination of hurdles can ensure all pathogens are eliminated or rendered harmless in the final product. So here they have used combination of high temperature during processing, low temperature during storage 
and increasing the acidity for prevention of food contamination and it is known as hurdle technology. So they have used three different combinations to produce hurdles for the pathogen uh, and uh, the technology is called as hurdle technology. The next one, the production of ethanol rather than biomass by yeast cell at a high concentration of glucose is known as crab tree effect. Answer is option C. Then anhydrotic dysplasia is a condition in which development of sweat glands is prevented. It is caused by mutation present on the X chromosome. A heterozygous female for this allele will have. So she will show mosaic pattern of presence and absence of sweat gland. Answer is option C. Why? Because of the process called as lionization. One of the two X chromosome is randomly inactivated during early embryonic stages and it becomes bar bodies under uh, the nuclear membrane. As the descendants of each cell keep the same pattern of inactivation, a heterozygote for an X-linked disease will be a mosaic with two cell population, one of which expresses the normal and the other abnormal X chromosome. So answer is option C. Then the combination of numbered terms that complete all of the following statement is transport through the phloem is dash while transport through the xylem is dash. So the transport through phloem is bidirectional and the transport through xylem is unidirectional. Loading of sugars into the phloem is by active transport at the source. Movement of water out of the phloem at the sink is by osmosis. So the answer here is option A. The next one. A plant with orange flowers was self-pollinated. If the pro F1 progeny were obtained, 38 plants producing red flowers, 80 plants producing orange flowers and 41 plants producing yellow flowers. The likely explanation for the above observation is that. So the plant is producing orange flowers was self-pollinated. If the F1 progeny, uh, in the F1 progeny we obtain 38 plants producing red flowers, 80 producing orange flowers. So 80 producing orange flowers and 41 producing yellow flowers. So if you see the ratio that is 41 divided by 38, 80 divided by 38, 38 divided by 38, you will get approximately 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio which shows that the gene for flower color shows uh, incomplete dominance. Answer is option A. Next question. Based on equal probability of any base occurrence in the genome, what should be the minimum length of the probe to bind specifically on a single locus on a bacterial genome of one mega base pair? So each base uh, of the probability is one by fourth. So four, uh, the four derives from the fact that there are four different nucleotides that is A, T, G or C that can be inserted at any one position. So based on equal probability of any base occurrence in the genome, we know that 4 raised to n is equal to 256 base pair or 4 raised to 4 n is equal to 4. Now 4 raised to n is 1 mega base pair or uh, 10 raised to 6 mega base pair. So 4 raised to 10 will be the answer which is approximately equal to uh, 10 mega base pair. So it will be equal to 10. So the answer here is option C that is 10 bases. Then which one of the following techniques can be used to study transient protein-protein interaction in a live cell? So it is foster resonance energy transfer. Answer is option D. Then next one. Which one of the following graphs correctly represents unfolding of a protein in the presence of increasing concentration of urea? So urea is a very small molecule that function both as efficient hydrogen bond donor and an efficient hydrogen bond acceptor 
As such, it can squeeze between hydrogen bond that stabilize protein molecules and thus destabilize protein structure. So that is how urea causes uh, unfolding of the protein chain. In addition, non-polar side chains are held together in the interior of folded proteins because they disrupt the structure of water. If they are exposed at high concentration of urea, the hydrogen bonded network of water molecules become disrupted so that these hydrophobic forces are significantly diminished. Proteins unfold in urea and as a consequence of its effect on these two forces. So the curve that is percentage of unfolded protein versus urea, con urea concentration versus pro percentage of unfolded protein is option A. Then a tRNA containing an anticodon for leucine was charged with leucine. This one, anticodon with the first one. The anticodon with leucine was charged with leucine amino acid. Subsequently, the attached leucine was chemically modified to arginine. Then what they did, they modified it into arginine, but the anticodon with the leucine remains the same. This tRNA will incorporate. So this will incorporate arginine against codon of leucine in mRNA. Answer is option C. They didn't change the anticodon, they changed only the amino acid attached to the tRNA molecule. So, arginine against codon of leucine in mRNA. Then, the, which one of the following statement regarding base excision DNA repair system is false? So, it can be triggered by damaged DNA. The pol beta pathway facilitates replacement of a long polynucleotide stretch of DNA. The enzyme that removes bases from DNA are glycolases and lyases. Damaged DNA has not been repaired cause stalling of DNA polymerase 3. Answer is option uh, B. The Paul beta pathway facilitates replacement of long polynucleotide stretch of DNA. The major function of DNA polymerase beta is the contribution to short patch base excision repair and not long nucleotide stretch of DNA. So that is false. Then next one. Which of the following results is expected when a mammalian cell in S phase is fused with another G2 phase? So G2 phase nucleus will wait for the S phase nucleus to complete the replication and both the nuclei simultaneously enter into S phase. That is the answer. Then next one. Following statements are about chromatin organization in eukaryotes. The length of DNA per nucleosome varies for individual tissues or species. Typical nucleosomal packaging pattern is strictly maintained across the genome of an organism. While wrapping around the histone core particles, uniform structure of DNA is maintained. Histone tail mediated Internucleosomal contact is one of the essential factors to achieve the 30 nanometer fiber structure. So, we select the correct combination of statements. Okay. The length of DNA per nucleosome varies for individual tissues or species. That is correct. Typical nucleosomal packaging is strictly maintained across the genome of an organism. It does not happen strictly. Okay. In the whole genome there is euchromatin and heterochromatin region and euchromatin region maintains the nucleosome organization but not the heterochromatin so two is not correct while wrapping around the histone core particle uniform structure of dna is maintained it is not uniform it varies then histone tail mediated internucleosomal contact is one of the essential factors to achieve 30 nanometer fiber structure that is also correct. So, 1 and 4 are correct and option C is your answer. Which one of the following techniques can be utilized to study both protein peptide and protein DNA interaction? So, it is fast display. Answer is option T. C. In this technique, a gene encoding a protein of interest is inserted into a fast coat protein gene 
causing the phage to display the protein on its outside while containing the gene for the protein on its inside resulting in a connection between genotype and phenotype these displaying phages can be screened against other proteins peptides or dna sequences in order to detect interaction between the displayed protein and those other molecules so answer here is option c that is phage display in genomic dna denaturation and renaturation experiments which one of the following regions would renature the earliest so satellite dna answer is option b satellite dna has tandem repeats and because of these repeats they will renature fast then which one of the following represents an autonomous retrotransposon so lines long interspersed nuclear elements these are autonomous because they are coding for the protein machinery that is required for their retrotransposition then injection of nano transcript at the anterior end of a fertilized drosophila egg is expected to develop in an embryo with so nano regulates expression of genes responsible for posterior structures so what you will get is two tails at both the ends the next one if non disjunction of a chromosome occurs in meiosis 2 what will be the product at the completion of meiosis so this is the diagram this is meiosis 2 so there is a non disjunction there so these two chromatids grow into one the one uh, one will be without that particular chroma chromosome and this one they the two chromatids they separate equally into the two daughter cells so this will be n plus 1 n minus 1 n and n so you will get one gamete will be n plus 1 one will be n minus 1 and two will be n answer is option c then which one of the following changes occurs in a directionally migrating eukaryotic cell so the nucleus move towards the back and behind the golgi answer is option c under winding or over winding of circular double stranded dna generate super coils only when it does not have any one of the following that is it does not have nicks if nicks are present then super coiling does not take place then next one the type of transport that does not reach vmax is so uh it is the case of simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion if you take an example as an example the rate of simple diffusion increases proportionately with the concentration of the diffusing substance and facilitated diffusion the rate of diffusion approaches the maximum called vmax as the concentration of diffusing substance increases so the two the type of transport that does not reach vmax is simple diffusion across lipid bilayer answer is option a then crispr cas9 is an example of bacterial adaptive immunity the transcription of crispr cas crispr loci generates small crispr rna to specifically target viral dna but not crispr loci by forming complex with guide rna and cas9 nuclease this prevention of autoimmunity is due to now this is the invading dna foreign dna from virus or a plasmid enter the cell the invading dna is incorporated this is the bacterial chromosome is incorporated into crispr array dna fragments from invading dna are incorporated into crispr locus as spacers these white portions are the spacers so the crispr rna is uh, sorry <coughs> it is located into the yeah, sorry it is incorporated into the crispr crispr locus over here then the cell constitutively transcribes a repeat spacer group into pre crna 
this is the pre crna then constitutively expressed transactivating rna that is tracer rna base pairs with the crispr repeat sequence on the pre crna some proteins modify the pre crna tracer rna duplex to form the guide rna so this tracer rna it gets incorporated with the pre cr rna and forms guide rna then this guide in a, um, then uh, inactive cas9 protein binds to the guide rna and it becomes activated then cas9 protein it will bind to the uh, um, guide rna and this complex it will inactivate the invading dna so what they have asked and this crispr cas uh, system how it must distinguish between the self and foreign dna to avoid self targeting and this is through absence of protospacer adjacent motif sequence in crispr loci answer is option a then what is the minimum number of trnas required to recognize all six codons of serine so they have given uh, six codons of the serine amino acid you need only one trna to recognize agu and agc this trna would have the anticodon uh, ucg or uca ucg then how uh, out of uh, two the remaining four they can be efficiently recognized by four trnas so totally you need only three trnas answer is option b the next one which of one of the following statement about signal recognition particle is incorrect an srp so uh, if you see option b is an integral membrane protein that is incorrect because srp receptor is the integral membrane protein not srp srp that is uh, signal recognition particle is not an integral membrane protein the next one which one of the following material is bioplastic it is polyhydroxy butyrate then labeled circular single stranded dna and linear short dna oligo were annealed to form the product shown in figure 1 helicase assay was performed using the annealed product and three proteins a b c below is the gel profile of the result in figure 2 based on the results identify the protein with helicase activity <coughs> so helicases are proteins which unwind double stranded nucleic acids now whichever protein is having helicase activity they uh, that will unwind the dna okay so from the question label circular single stranded dna and linear short dna oligo or anil now wherever these annealed bands come in contact with the helicase they will unwind the dna strands so that you will get single strand dna bands as well as oligo band and we can see from the gel that whenever protein a is added whenever protein a is added you get an oligo band so here and all protein a has been added whereas here a is not added so wherever a is added you get the oligo band but if b or c is added you don't get the oligo band so naturally a is the helicase answer is option a then protein x exists in both gtp bound and gdp bound forms when this protein was purified it was also gdp it was always gdp bound protein y w v were added separately in an experiment along with gtp the results of the experiment is depicted in the following figure 
which one of the following could be the right conclusion of the result so they have given gap and gef now what is gef gf is guanine exchange factor and gap is gtp is activating protein so gef they turn on signaling by catalyzing the exchange from g protein bound gdp to gtp whereas gap is they terminate signaling by inducing gtp hydrolysis now if uh, x is in x gtp form we can see that protein y has been added when protein y has been added but when uh, w and uh, v proteins are added x is not in the gtp bound form in the question it is said that the purified protein is in x gdp bound form now upon addition of y we get x gtp form gdp to gtp exchange has taken place upon addition of y so y is gef for protein x answer is option b the next one in a class students were divided into three different groups and each group was given different dna sample to find the melting temperature all the groups observed same tm for their samples this is because so two factors that affect the tm are length of the dna and gc content now length and gc content are same so tm also same they got different dna samples with same length and same gc content answer is option c the next one for efficient translation of certain eukaryotic mrnas under many physiological and pathological stress condition the small subunit of ribosome binds to the mrna at the so internal ribosome entry site elements are cis acting rna regions that promote internal initiation of protein synthesis using cap independent mechanism the 40s subunit of ribosome bind to this site so for efficient translation of certain eukaryotic mrnas under physiological and pathological stress condition the small subunit of ribosome bind to mrna at the internal ribosome entry site the next one for identifying the distribution of a specific protein in a tissue which one of the following types of immunofluorescence microscopic methods has attained the highest level of resolution so it is confocal microscopy with deconvolution then next one which one of the following set of protein factors named as yamaka factors have been used to convert mammalian somatic cells into induced pluripotent cells they are answer is option a that is oct 3 by 4 sox2 klf4 and cmyc this is a repeated question it has been repeated some one or once or twice for dbt entrance exam itself i have uploaded the other papers of other years you can go through them then hay flick limit of a mammalian cell refers to which one of the following so the hay flick limit is the number of times a normal human cell population will divide until cell division stops so cells in primary culture undergo senescence after 50 to 60 passages answer is option a so that is the number uh, of times the human cell population will divide until so after 50 60 passages it starts to undergo senescence then next one mid blastula transition this is also a repeated question is a phenomenon that occurs during early development in certain organism it refers to it refers to transition from maternal to zygotic gene expression answer is option a then next one under which of the following circumstances do t cells develop energy so when co stimulatory molecules present on the antigen presenting cells fail to interact with the t cells they develop t cell energy answer is option d